Hi, Bob Katz. I'm Texas State President Kelly Dampus. You know, homecoming week is October 22nd through October 28th, and it's the best time to celebrate your Bobcat pride and spirit. Our longest running annual tradition brings students, employees, alumni, and the entire San Marcos community together for beloved traditions. And we have some new homecoming fun planned for this year. Today, I'm here with Dr. Dwayne Bruce, who's the Assistant Vice President and Executive Director for Student Involvement and Engagement. That's a long title. And uh, also, I'm here with Alejandra Merheb, who's the Assistant Vice President for Alumni Engagement and Executive Director for the Alumni Association. <laughs> Another long title, thank you very much. And they're both here to tell you about all the exciting events for students and alumni and why you don't want to miss out at this year's homecoming events. So, Dwayne, let's start with you. Why don't you tell us about why you're excited about Homecoming Week and why our students, employees, our alumni should all come out to Homecoming this year. I think people should come out because there's this enormous energy on yeah. campus right now. Everything is changing. We're focused on this run to R1. There's just an exciting energy on campus. So if you haven't been on campus, I think it's a good time to come back and experience the energy. Um, and for our uh, members of the St. Marcus community to really engage um, with the community as well. So I think there's all kinds of exciting opportunities for homecoming this year. And now, Alejandro, tell us something about what the alumni should expect when they come to homecoming this year. Alumni should expect to have a great time, number one. Um, we're going to be right over here on the west side of the stadium. We'll host uh, uh, our throwback tailgate experience. We'll have barbecue. We'll have plenty of beverages. We've had great turnout for the football games for the well, Alumni Association. We really have. Yeah. It's been great. Even um, not here, but also at UTSA. Absolutely. And at Baylor. It's been really yeah. fun to see the yeah. support from our alumni. And then we'll also have special guests such as yourself. We're excited to have oh, you there. I'll be there, sure. <laughs> and is, there, then, is there food there? There is. I'll be there. Plenty. Yeah. Okay, good. Wonderful. We'll save you some. Yeah. Um, and then we'll also have the homecoming court royalty come through, which will be a really fun way for alumni to celebrate with our students. Yeah. And then, of course, we have the much anticipated uh, throwback giveaway, which will be this shirt right here, unveiling it here for you. Well, um, hey, we're really cool excited this? for yeah. this. So we encourage awesome. everyone to come register while supplies last. I we'll got give the those first out. one, right? This Absolutely. is hot off the press. Hot off the great. press from Barefoot you know, Outfitters. What I I love about what we're doing here is paying homage to Southwest Texas State. Our football team will actually have SWT on their uniform. Mm -hmm. And uh, we always want to acknowledge the fact that we're all Bobcats, even though some of us went to Southwest Texas and some of us went to Texas State. We're all Bobcats and rallying around the SWT is perfectly Absolutely. acceptable. In fact, a lot of our alumni really get excited about Absolutely. that. Absolutely. Once a Bobcat, always a Bobcat. Once a Bobcat, <laughs> always a Bobcat. So Duane, we love our traditional activities here at Homecoming, like the Soapbox Derby. By the way, we have one of the Soapbox cars right behind us. and the royalty court, but we're also uh, mixing things up. You know, new traditions get formed every year yeah. as well. So what are some new activities that are being rolled out this year? So we're super excited this year to have Thursday night be our Thursday night themed um, uh, event. There is going to be the Soapbox Derby to kick things off. And then we're going to have- be on Friday. Now we're moving yep, to We're Thursday. moving it to Thursday yeah. this year. And then following Soapbox, there's going to be a spirit parade through campus. Um, Dr. Danfus is going to be uh, the Grand Marshal along with his wife. <laughs> so we're super excited to have the, uh, a parade this year going through campus. And then it's going to end at Sewell Park. And when folks get to Soul Park, there's going to be a pep rally, and we're going to uh, we're going to get people excited for the weekend, get things kicked off with this pep rally, and then that's all going to end and culminate with a fireworks show over Soul Park. So we're super excited to to, to bring this new tradition. Also on Friday night, um, we're hosting Boco's Homecoming Bash for the students. Um, it's going to be a concert-like atmosphere right in the center of campus on Bobcat Trail, um, and we're having dueling DJs. There's going to be food trucks, lots of things for our students to get engaged um, with um, this year. You know, the students are excited about that and they're excited to be together. I think COVID has kind of gone a little bit for people sure. and they're excited to get back together. We had that big event, the Jumpstart event. Yes. We probably had 8,000 people yes. out there. I was a little nervous about how we're gonna manage things, but what was great was I was walking away. People were like introducing themselves to each other. Yeah. It's a great way for students to get together. There's a great picture online somewhere of Coach Kenny taking a picture. He looks yes. like a rock star out there with all the fans yeah. back there. Friday night, we have a special event as well. What's, mm -hmm. Tell us about what's gonna happen Friday. So we have a Distinguished Alumni Gala, which is a really wonderful opportunity to celebrate all of our award recipients. So we'll be celebrating three distinguished alumni, two uh, young alumni rising stars, and the Denise M. Trout Outstanding Leadership Award recipient. And so it's a really great opportunity to celebrate them and the impact that they've made here at the University of Texas State in their communities and in the world. So it's been really fun. You know, we always talk about athletics being the front door to a university, but I always mention it's also a rearview mirror. 
there's a, a reason for students, for alumni to come back to campus and, and athletics provides that opportunity. Mm -hmm. And it's also an opportunity for us not to get them back here, but to acknowledge what they've done and for them to remember how they got their start in life and what Texas State or Southwest Texas State did for them. Homecoming week is also a time for San Marcos community to engage with sure. our university. How can our friends in San Marcos participate in homecoming events. Man, we invite the whole San Marcos community to show up for Thursday Night Lights. We'd love to have the streets packed um, for the parade. Yeah, that'd be fun. Um, and at the, at the end of the parade, we're gonna invite people to just funnel down to the park, um, and it's going to be a um, uh, it's going to be a fun event. It's going to be spirited, and um, I'm, we're excited about the fireworks at the end, just to kind of give it a little pizzazz, if you will. It's great, Dwayne. So Alejandra, so do you have any advice or tips or recommendations for alumni who are coming to the game on Saturday? I actually do. I say get here early. Yes, stay get here late, early, <laughs> and um, really take advantage of the experience here to connect with Bobcats. I think it's always important to remind people that. You know, we're having a lot more tents here. Mm -hmm. We're, you know, getting record number of students coming mm -hmm. here. So tailgating is a fun tradition, as you and I were talking about earlier, the fun we had at the tailgate section, the students are really engaged out there. But because uh, the football team's doing so well, the attendance is so high, that parking can be a little bit of an issue. <laughs> so don't show up half an hour before the game right. expect to get in. Get there 90 minutes early, walk around the tailgate area, mm -hmm. enjoy yourself, take the pressure off, get inside the stadium before kickoff, enjoy that whole, the whole celebration and enjoy the victory. Well, thank you guys so much for being here. It's so great to hear about the great homecoming events, and I hope we've given you lots of reasons to join in the homecoming festivities. It's a perfect time to gather with your fellow Bobcats and to make some new memories, and there's really something for everyone, faculty, staff, students, alumni, uh, people in the community. We want you all on our campus enjoying yourselves. And You know, we have a big football game on Saturday night, but you can also come out and cheer on our women's golf team, uh, they have a tournament here in the home turf, and then our women's soccer team is competing that week as well. They're both competing here locally. We'd like to have people come up for both those events as well. All right, I look forward to seeing you all at homecoming and anywhere else around there. Eat them up, cats, and states up.